Hi, this is Halal. In this video, we will solve a question on the profit maximization. The question is an entrepreneur's short run total cost function is C is equal to Q cube minus 10 Q square plus 17 Q plus 66, where Q is the quantity and C is the total cost. If P is equal to 5, that is price is equal to 5. The output at which the profit is maximized by this entrepreneur is we have to see the output where the profit is maximized. So we will see how to solve this question. First of all, First of all, first order condition requires first order condition for profit maximization. Profit maximization requires marginal revenue should be equal to marginal cost, as we see, as we know from the economics. Now, here P is equal to five. If we can visualize here, if P is equal to five, if P is equal to five, therefore P into Q is equal to 5 into q p into q is total revenue so total revenue is 5 q and it is derivative that is dtr the de uh, derivative of the total revenue with respect to quantity gives us marginal revenue then the derivative of q is here one so the total this is the marginal revenue that is dtr divided by dq gives us marginal revenue that means our marginal revenue is 5. This means this P is equal to 5 is also our marginal revenue. That means this should be equal to 5 should be equal to. Now, what is our marginal cost? Marginal cost, uh, we have to differentiate total uh, cost function with respect to quantity. Now, the derivative of Q cube is 3 Q square. So, I will write 3 Q square. The derivative of uh, q square is 2q now 2q into 10 is minus 20 minus 20q similarly the derivative of q in 17q is 1 so this will become plus 17 okay this is the first order condition now solving for q we will get the two positive values of q that is q is equal to 2 by 3 and q is equal to 6 we got the two positive values of q how it is solved we use the quadratic function i will not show here but we know when solving we when uh, when writing this in standard form and then using the quadratic formula that is and the uh, quadratic formula is minus uh, b plus minus uh, b square b square minus 4 ac root divided by 2a we can use this for this very equation in finding the optimal values of q you should be known to this very formula okay so we got the first order condition here first order condition uh, from first order condition we got the optimal values of q is 2 by 3 and 6 now we have to check whether they are the which among these two values is the profit maximum output for that we need to check the second order condition okay so i will wrap this uh, second order condition requires simply that the slope so i will write here uh, i will wrap this second order condition requires uh, slope of marginal revenue should be less than uh, slope of marginal cost okay now slope of marginal revenue means d by dq of the marginal revenue our marginal revenue was 5 that means differentiating 5 with respect to quantity should be less than slope of marginal cost our marginal cost uh, function was uh, that means d by dq uh, of uh, 3q square minus 20 q which we have calculated earlier plus 17 this is our marginal cost okay now here d by dq the derivative of the constant is 5 that means it is here 0 now the de here the derivative of q square is 2 so 2 3 are 6 q 6 q minus 20 because the derivative of q is 1 and constant uh, the derivative of constant is 0 okay now we have to see which of the two 
uh, values of q satisfies this very equation that is we will see if we put uh, q is equal to 2 by 3 so let me fill this with another color if we take q is equal to 2 by 3 so this will become 6 2 are 12 or 2 3 1 are 3 2 are 6 so we will get here 4 minus 20 4 minus 20 4 minus 20 is minus 16 but minus 16 is not uh, greater than 0 so this is not the correct option okay now we will give q is equal to 16 we should this uh, this relation should be satisfied now if we give q is equal to 6 this will become 6 into 6 is 36 minus 20 now 36 minus 20 is 16 which is greater than 0 so the second order condition uh, requires that the slope of the marginal revenue should be less than zero slope of marginal cost when evaluated at the at the output which we got from the first order condition now that very this very relation is satisfied only when q is equal to 6 so the correct option to this question is 6 okay